Hello everyone, Dan here from Sharpie T. Thought I'd share with you my new trailer. I was able to get on the log splitter, the UTV, this or side by side, and the Sherp. We went to the hunting cabin this weekend, and what we were doing is just getting all the shooting lanes all set up for this fall. Um, we knocked over some trees. I did actually go and have that tree sawed off just a smidgen because if you don't saw it off a smidgen. Sometimes they pop back up again, and we did not want these trees to survive uh, because you wouldn't be able to see. Some of the trees that we cut down, we actually hauled away, and the reason being is they were kind of garbage trees. They were like box elder. wasn't something we were going to use for firewood. So we took the sherp, and we just pulled them out of the way and kind of went from there. There's a view from up in the hunting blind, or stand. Pretty fancy one. What we're doing here is just getting all organized uh, to be able to trim the trees. Brad, when he's done, I want him to back up like he's a deer coming tight. That was pretty cool. <laughs> you want me to ride on it? Like I'm a, like you know I'm a fucking. Uh... Can you? I can think you can get right up on the fender. Huh? I just had to get it. Hey guys, you might be a redneck if you use a sharp to trim trees. <laughs> so I sped it up a little bit just so you wouldn't be bored and seeing this, but I do think it's kind of neat to see the beginning and the end when using that pole saw. So we'll use the Sherpa as a platform again one more time, just to clean out one more shooting lane. Man, that the boy does a nice job, doesn't he? So we had to do a little bit of playing out in a brush pile. That brush pile is actually sitting in an old pond that was dug for the deer, and it just is not really being used anymore but it is pretty steep in spots as you are going to see. Just getting her all set up there. Had to be careful not to go back too far because there's a huge drop off that I just missed. Got a little nervous there. That tire's off the ground about two feet. But what the heck, we gotta go for it, right? Right there, it's probably off the ground about four feet. The shirt just makes things too easy. There's just more brush in that little hole right there than you can possibly imagine. Well, this ends another video. I had an absolute blast. I hope you did too. Got to hang out with some friends. Got some tree stands cleaned up. Got some wood split. Went over some crazy obstacles. I had a blast again. Hope you did too. Take care.